everyone, this is Miss Harim, your school counsellor. It's been a fun and exciting week at ASPS. This week, the entire school celebrated Odd Socks Day and we came to school wearing our fun and crazy socks to celebrate how different and unique every person is as part of our bullying awareness campaign. And also, the older students attended a very informative webinar hosted by the DHA about how they can improve their interpersonal skills and stop bullying behavior from happening. To wrap up an exciting week, we have Children's Day tomorrow. Children's Day is celebrated all over the world on the 20th of November. And the point of the day is to raise awareness of children's welfare and well-being. So at ASPS, we celebrated Children's Day by asking our students some fun questions. We asked them what advice they would give to their parents and teachers. We asked them what decisions they would make if they were allowed to make all the decisions in one day. We asked them what animals they would be if they could be any animal. And we asked them the secret ingredient to happiness. So let's hear what our students have to say. My advice to parents and teachers is to be more calm and less angry. For parents, I love my family and parents do not forget to kiss us and hug us every day. If I would give advice to my parents, I'd say that on the weekends, on Friday, First, the child can actually decide where they want to go and what fun activity they want to do. The next day, which is Saturday, the parents can do what they want to do on something fun. My advice to my parents is that they grant all my wishes and take me on a holiday every year. Um, less studies uh, and more fun. My advice to the teachers and parents is none. Because teachers and parents are special in their own way. So, first of all, I will go to the Apple Store. Uh, I'll get a few items. I will get a PlayStation and I will sleep late. I would buy everything I wanted, like Lego, art and skating supplies, and more. I would book a room in Lapita Hotel, which is the hotel that is connected to Legoland, Legoland Water Park, Bollywood Park, and Motion Game. I would go to Legoland, Legoland Water Park, and your world of adventures, Disney World, to buy ice rink and Kidzania. I would want to buy a beautiful mansion for me and my family. Okay, if I get a chance to make all the decisions for the day, I would watch TV for 3 hours, order myself a pizza or a limo pizza and get and get a big bowl of ice cream with chocolate fudge. I would watch TV all day and play around like you know have fun and all and then go out to every fun place like IMG World, <coughs> Global Village maybe, ice skating and other places which is really fun. When I wake up, um, I would like to eat Greek yogurt. And then, after Greek yogurt, I will make, I will start making tests or quizzes for my family, family, and then they can start playing. Bye. We tried it for some hours and a weekend. I asked my parents to bring me to the mall, eat lunch, and give me ice cream after I play on my PS4. And we watched the family movie. If I wanted to be one animal, I would choose a fox because they're super intelligent, calm, nice, and pretty harmless. They're very beautiful and also really furry. I want to be an eagle so I can fly high and reach my dreams. I would be a bear because they are cute, strong, omnivorous, and surprisingly smart. If I could be any animal, I'll choose a lion so I can be the king and eat yummy food. 
I will be a cat because they can run fast. And today I'm going to tell you why I chose a dinosaur. I can go to Legoland, smash all the Legos and make my own Lego house. I will be a parrot because I want to live in forests and explore the world and have fun and also I am not afraid of heights and I've never actually flown before in open air so I really want to try flying if I could all possibly get the chance to. I wish I was a bird because I want to fly and it will be a new experience and I love to try new things. I was chosen to be any animal I wish. It would be a unicorn so I can spread my magical happiness wherever I go. Let me do it right now. Three, two, one. Hi everyone. Today I'm going to tell you my secret ingredient to happy. You need one cup of kindness, another cup of laughter, and a pinch of forgiveness. It all starts at home, so it's family. Staying positive and no negativity. Staying positive will make everybody happy. My happiness is my dad gives and rewards. The answer is sugar. Be happy to your family, uh, have relationships, be a nice person, always be honest all the time with your friends. Next, we need two cups of fresh. Then we need just a tablespoon. I think the key to happiness is being together with my family. Be positive to others and be yourself. Your way to happiness. You need to be honest and find your way ahead. Friendship, because you need someone to support you on the long road of life. And love, because you need someone to take care of you on the road as well. And laughter, to not make you frown. And make that frown on your face upside down. That is why these are the main three keys to happiness. That was our students at ASPS. Some fun, interesting, really sweet and eloquent answers. If you want to be part of such videos, make sure to interact with your well-being Google Classrooms and there's lots of fun things happening there, so keep an eye on it. Now, finally, to celebrate Children's Day, we have a photo contest. The photo contest is titled some of my favorite things. What do you have to do? You have to take a single photo which shows off your favorite things. Anything that brings you happiness. It could be people, it could be an activity that you're doing, it could be anything. But it has to be one picture. And then you have to submit it in the form below and the winner would be announced next week. So that's going to be a fun photo contest to celebrate Children's Day. I look forward to seeing some really interesting photos which would help me understand what are some of your favorite things. That's all for now. Have a lovely weekend and I will see you next week. Bye bye.